Hey everybody, I'm Monica McKenzie, joined by Rhett McGibbons to talk about the men's D2 team. They recently just had their conference tournament yeah. and now they're looking ahead to nationals. And earlier this week you said the conference tournament didn't really matter. But right. now that they've won it, does that change things? Not at all. <laughs> no, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'll be really real here. I don't think it matters one bit. You know, great. They got a nice, you know, they got a trophy, okay? And taking nothing away from the MAC. Great job by Liberty. Nice work. <laughs> Being like a coach as well though, in my head and just like this part of my mind, and I'm sure if you really got into Chris Lowe's and Mike Morrison's head Blair's as well, they'd probably say the same thing. We played three games. In the long run, does it really help us? You know, maybe we were, were able to refine some things, but we're also now probably more banged up injury-wise. Yeah. So you get a little bit of sugar, you also get a little bit of salt. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's tough. I mean, in my mind, you can never go wrong with getting another trophy, the confidence and things like that, no? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, in that tournament, they took yeah. a few unnecessary penalties. Yeah. Sort of discipline was a little bit of an issue. So how can they work on that, refine that, as you mentioned, heading into nationals? It's all about what you want to give up, right? It's all about self, you know, self-desire over team first. And, you know, I think they got a veteran team. Like, we've talked about this. They're a group of guys that know what their end goal is. You know, and this is the last kick at the can here maybe for a year or two. You know, Doc Stairs going on, Freeman... You've got a, you know, obviously Logan, Kaz, you've got, this is your chance, right? Mm -hmm. So when they get into go time, when the games matter, not like at the Mac, <laughs> they, they'll be dialed in. I have no worry. And, yeah. you know, and, you know, I believe one guy speared a guy, you know, and, and you can't have that. And I'm sure he'll be spoken to. And, but I think he's also a mature enough adult to realize, you know, when the games mean something, I can't get away with this. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to serve a five minute major or potentially get suspended and hurt my team for the next game when we have this this goal that we want to achieve. Yeah, and as you said, this might be their last chance for a few years, so does mm -hmm. that add pressure to the team? Yeah, I think it adds pressure. I also think it adds desire at the mm -hmm. same time, so it's just going to kind of even each other out. But yeah, this is, you know, this is a big, big time in their life and the sense that things are flowing right now for them. You got Blomberg that came back and, you know, we're going to touch on this in a sec. I'll throw it in here right now. Kaz is coming back. Logan's coming back as well. That's two of your top three centers. Mm -hmm. You've got one of your, you know, better power forwardish guys in Blomberg coming back. So this team's really built to win a national title. Yeah. Now, so is Florida Gulf Coast. So is some other teams within the league. So it's not going to come easy. But the Flames, they've got another year of experience. They were just tasting it a little bit last year, you know, right there at the brink. And then this season... I can't say they're going to win or not. It's one of those things that's just a lot of it comes down to goaltending. If Epp can get hot and he's played really well lately, if he can continue that stretch, they have as good a chance as anybody else. Yeah, and as you just mentioned, Logan and Kazmir Zach are most likely guaranteed to be coming yeah. back. So they won that conference title without those two players. Yeah. What are you expecting them to contribute in Nationals? Well, I think they'll be raring to go. You know, like I think Logan and Kaz realize that more than likely, unless they have desires to play overseas, this is their last go at playing hockey at a high level mm -hmm. and competing and you know these guys have been playing since they were kids right they know what to do the fact that they were laid off for a little bit in some ways might be a bonus because they're going to come back refreshed and energized and, and really just have a lot of gas left in the tank to, to go after a national championship. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know you said it's hard to do this but can you give me somewhat of a prediction for the tournament? <sighs> I think Liberty will make it it's so hard I don't even like I don't have the the regions memorized yeah. and like the little pods that they're in. I think Liberty will make it to the final four again. Um, but it's gonna, you know, Florida Gulf Coast will be there as well. They always are. The other team, it's hard to say. I don't, yeah. Out west, that's just, uh, you know, who really knows, yeah. I say this, who really knows what goes on out there. So I think those two teams will be there. If it came down to it once again, where it was Liberty and Florida Gulf Coast, I wouldn't blink an eye. It wouldn't surprise me. And like mm -hmm. I said, it's all gonna come down. It really does come down to goaltending. It sounds so, so stereotypical of an answer, and it really is, but if these two teams get there, they both have weapons that can bury, they both have solid defensive groups. Liberties this year, I think, is even possibly a bit better than last year. So if you've got the goalie back there making the timely saves, that's gonna be the key to it all, and not to put any added pressure on that, but you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be big. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll definitely be exciting to see what happens. Yeah, Thanks for your sure. insight.